Feliz Navidad and happy holidays because it's time for Joke Shop with Thomas Hold. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, fellow viewers. Now, I know this is long overdue. This is the, I believe, sixth or seventh episode of the show. I kind of lost track counting. I don't think there was an episode six. So I think this is our sixth episode. And it's a Christmas episode. That, that's what we're dubbing this one. Anywho, let's get on with the jokes. <clears throat> an, insectivore, an insectivore walks into a bar. Bar. Happy and chipper. And then hears someone say, humbug. And when the waiter asks her, what type of bugs will she be having tonight? She said, give, give me a plate of, plate of aphids. Not the store-bought aphids, but the regular aphids. If it's a side or a roach dressing. Sing, oh, and some of those humbugs you were talking about. And that's what he said. Sorry, we're all out of humbugs. Well, do you have any humbugs? Or any other type of bug that replaces humbugs? He said no, un unfortunately. So, okay, so one time, one of my friends had a Christmas party. Party. The, yeah, okay. They actually talked about what they wanted for Christmas. And when I heard what what my friend's grandpa said, all he wanted for Christmas was a better family. I can tell a better joke with my eyes closed. Okay, go ahead, wise guy. What comes at the end of Christmas? Anyone? Anyone? The letter S. That was kind of crappy. But I have a better one. <clears throat> Who delivers all the presents to the good little fish under the sea? Who? Santa Jaws. Man, that joke was so old, I think think it's older than Santa Claus himself. You know what they did with a with a Christmas duck? What? They made him a Christmas quacker. Wait. A Christmas cracker? No, a Christmas quacker. Cr cracker? Quacker. Cracker? Quacker. We're getting into a rut. You know why the French always pronounce Christmas as Noel? No. But I bet you're going to tell me. Of course. It's because when they were spilling Santa, they accidentally put L at the end. Oh, that explains then. No L. <laughs> oh, the classics never die. And I know this isn't Christmas related, but here's one, one classic I don't think ever died. Oh, and hold up, let me get it. Since I'm heading to the Beaver Motel next year, or a few months after 2022 happens, I decided to bring my sarong. What sarong? Nothing. What's sarong with you? <laughs> Uh, I was right. The classics never die. And I can't believe I fell for that. Oh, that was so blatantly obvious. And yet you couldn't see it coming, couldn't you? Okay, here's a better joke that is Christmas related. You know what's better than using chestnuts on an, roasting chestnuts on an open fire? What? Roasting piss nuts on an open fire. Um, I, I don't get it. Yeah, neither do I. Just nuts, piss nuts. That that the piss nuts part is an insult. Would it have been funnier if I said peanuts? Not unless someone out there has a peanut allergy. Oy. Thomas, can we wrap the show up tonight? Yeah, I kind of realized something. What? Our special musical guest, which surprisingly is our only episode or first episode where we attempted to do musical guests, hasn't showed up. Okay, who was the, who was our first ever musical guest? Felix Navidad. Wait. You're telling me our our musical guest was going to be Felice Navidad? 
And yet, what happened? He canceled. He's already working with another band in Mexico. It's great. It's great. You know what? Yeah, you know what? We get to cancel the show early. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho, any ho, 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 Merry Christmas, and uh, say no to drugs. Say yes to hitting that subscribe button. Good night, and good remembrance. Wait, why is there a car coming by? Oh, my. Mm. Huh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Ow! Okay, that was way worse. Ow! 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 Oh, that was ultimately bad. Ugh. I cannot imagine how it gets any worse than that. Ow. Ow. Pain.